so hello guys welcome in this video we'll see as a second mate how do we know which all ENPs are required for the voyage how to order them and how to install the ENP permits in e-reader so let's start so now when we want to request for ENP first what I normally do is I'll open this catalog for this catalog uh, I'll paste the link in the description box so I'll open this catalog now in this catalog you can see these numbers are for the ENP all these numbers which are given these are for the ENPs and you can be anywhere in the world you can see the number for that particular ENP so it's very easy to check otherwise each ENP has its name also but from name it's very hard to find out so it's easier to find out with this world diagram and the numbering which ENP do you require let's say if you are in Indonesia you will be requiring 44 number ENP so if you are near India you will be requiring either 38 or if you are in east part of India you will be requiring ENP 21 and so on now let's say for example if we are going from Indonesia to Antwerp now which all ENPs are required for the voyage how do we know or how do I keep a tab for them so what's so first what I'll do is I'll keep this catalog on my side I'll open a text format and in this text format I'll start writing down which all ENPs are actually required for my voyage so if we are near Indonesia I'll be requiring ENP number 44 then we'll be going south of India then that is ENP number 38 then through the Mediterranean Sea ENP number 64 in such a format so what will be your planned route in as per your planned route you'll check which all ENPs are coming in that route okay so that is before making your passage plan you'll have a rough idea which all ENPs will be required now we, I'll open my e-reader in this e-reader in this page I'll only see those ENPs for which I have already permit it will not show the whole world ENPs remember this it will only show me the licensed or permitted ENPs for which I have valid license at present or which are about to expire so in this I'll cross compare which all ENPs I have already so let's say you can see ENP number 38 I already have so I don't need to request again the license same ENP number 44 I don't need to request as I already have the license ENP number 45 also I have in such a format I'll just cross check whether I have the ENPs or not ENP number 45 also I have so I have deleted that so now in such a way I'll continue to note down the other ENPs which I already have and I'll only request for the ENPs which I do not have and are required for the wash so lastly whenever we are ready with the numbering of ENPs for which we want the license we'll just write the mail for example at present you can see I am writing the mail to chart world because for my charts ENP ADP for all of this my I have one supplier and this is the one which is giving me the license for them so I'll just come down and write a simple mail please issue the license for the following ENPs for my voyage that's all so you just write down the ENP numbers for which you want the license and they will issue you the ENP permit that's it now on board your ship you might have different chart handling software like Napter, Nav Tracker, Chartco, Chart Browser, eMariner and so on so you it might be possible that you might be required to make request for ENPs through those softwares so that is ship specific you can check on your ship but the basic principle will be always same that you have to first open the catalog of the ENP and then check which all ENPs are required for the voyage and then order for them but in any case if you don't know how to request the order from your chart handling software in any case you can just write a normal mail as well which I which I've shown just now in any case if you send them a mail listing out the ENPs which you are required for which you require the license they will issue you the permit so now this is how the file looks like once you receive the permit this is the format of the permit ENP-permit.ENP go to e-reader get NTMN permit here select media and make sure you know where your file or where your permit file is placed go next and then choose the folder where you have stored your ENP permit so I'll choose my correct folder and then click load that's all it will look for the file .enp file and once it is processed 
now all your permits are installed which you have requested so you can finish click finish over here and then you can check in get ntm and permit whether you have received those publications or not so as you can see we have requested for enp 2227 it's already there it's just that i have to update that enp 28 is already is also there now so that's how the permit installation is done on e-reader